We did a combination of face-to-face -face trainings and then online trainings, and we found that it was difficult for people to come to the face-to-face -face trainings. It was hard to find the time, um, the ability, the willingness for people to come in and sit through a training session. And so the online training was a really good option for people um, to do on their own time, in their own space. They really wanted the information that a training would give them, um, and this format just was a, a much better fit for people, particularly faculty staff. We could not get faculty staff to come to any of our face-to-face -face trainings. Um, and once we started offering an online training, it was like, boom. We've used uh, a couple different types of incentives, um, and we have definitely found that um, that has been useful in getting more people to take the training um, than if we didn't have the incentive structure in place. Um, and we have a subway on our campus, which is wildly popular. And so we actually went to the owner of the campus subway um, and just started having conversations with her about what our program was, what we were trying to do in terms of suicide prevention on campus, um, and asked if she would be willing to work with us if we could purchase gift cards. And the conversations with the subway owner went really, really well. And she ended up actually uh, agreeing to donate up to $15,000 worth of $5 subway gift cards. The thing about the incentive is that um, it gets people to take the training. And so you kind of got to you got you got to get to that point where you get people to take the training. Once people have taken the Cognito training, they have become advocates for it. I have found so many people on our campus that want to share the training with people once they've done it. Well, I learned something that I can actually use with students, with my friends. Um, I'm hearing it all the time from people that they're using what they've practiced in real life after they've done the training.